In terms of success with women, I'd say the most important concepts are one is volume. It's really understanding that on some level, it is a numbers game that if you approach enough women, some of them are going to like you. And every time one likes you, that's a huge confidence boost. Now, a lot of people, what they think is, well, if a girl rejects me, then that's going to lower my confidence. It's actually only true if you have a terrible mindset, because first of all, if you weren't approaching women, you were always getting rejected anyway, right? By the fact that you weren't getting opportunities, that women aren't approaching you, coming on to you, the fact that nothing's happening is the same as being rejected, right? It's the same feeling. You just think maybe something could have happened, but it's actually defeating, it's lowering your confidence day in and day out that you're not someone who goes for it and that you have no options. So it's not gonna make you less confident to get rejected some of the time. And if you do enough approaches, you are going to have some successes, right? If you approach 20 women, there's gonna be a couple who like you unless you're just doing everything horribly wrong, right? Unless you're being super aggressive and weird and disrespectful, those kinds of things, overly aggressive. As long as you're being relatively normal, and relatively positive. Some of the girls are going to like you. And before you were probably getting no options, right? Or very, very few options. And now that is exponentially increasing. So of course, that's going to increase your confidence, not decrease it. And secondly, every time that you get rejected, you actually become less reactive. It helps chip away at your ego because you realize it's not a big deal. In your mind, it was a big deal. You had all this resistance to it. Your ego was like, don't do this. You could get rejected. You have this self-image complex about it. But when you go out and get rejected, you realize, eh, it wasn't that bad. It's kind of like diving. If you remember as a kid, I was terrified of diving. Uh, I had all this resistance. I would walk around the pool for hours and not do it. And then when I finally took the dive, it wasn't a big deal at all, right? There was nothing to be afraid of. It's the same thing with approaching women. Yes, you might get rejected, but you realize that the rejection isn't even a big deal. So being willing to run volume is how you develop confidence. It's how you develop momentum. And it's how just in terms of the numbers game, if you're approaching enough women, and I think in most cases, let's say you're just doing day game, you're only meeting women in the day, then something like 25 to 30 per week would be good. But if you're doing any night game, which most people should be going to bars and clubs because there's more volume of girls to approach, then it should be at least about 50 a week to get to a point where you're getting solid results. And if you're not running that amount of volume, you don't need to worry about anything else. You don't need to worry about your lines, your inner game, all this kind of bullshit. It doesn't matter because you're not running enough volume to get results anyway. It's like if I were to make a YouTube channel and I'm posting a video once every three months, of course, it's not going to take off. I'm not running enough volume right? It's just not going to work. But if I'm posting every day, then I can start focusing on production quality, on my delivery, on all these other types of things, right? But you don't want to focus on those details until the foundation of taking enough action has been met. So I would say that's the number one most important concept. The next most important concept in terms of having a dating life where you're getting multiple dates per life, you have tons of options, you're dating girls who are out of your league by society standards. The next thing is to be someone who takes the lead. The most common thing I see when I'm doing in-person coaching is that when my clients are new, they're doing the first approaches on the program, they tend to talk to a girl, she's interested, she's receptive, and they just talk to her in the same place for 30, 40, 50 minutes. And it doesn't go anywhere. And the girl gets bored and she's like, okay, it was nice meeting you, dog pat. Or she finally reveals that she had a boyfriend. You need to be leading within usually about five minutes, even less. So you meet a girl at the bar and if she seems at all receptive within usually really a couple minutes, you take her, hey, let's go dance. Or hey, let's go outside where it's quieter. Or hey, let's go sit down. Whatever it is, you move the interaction forward. And then you need to make sure to put out the idea of going home with you later. So a simple one you could say is, do you smoke? And she says, yeah, I smoke. We should smoke later, right? You suggest that we should smoke later. So you're putting out the idea of doing something later that involves going back to your place. Now it could be smoking. It could be playing a trivia game. It could be foosball. It could be darts. It could be getting a drink. It could be watching a TV show. But the important part is that you're putting the idea out there in advance. So you're getting her to say yes to the idea in general, and then 20 or 30 minutes later, sometimes sooner, that's when you say, hey, let's go do that thing. Hey, let's go smoke. Hey, let's go play darts, whatever it might be. And just doing those two things, making sure that you're always taking the lead and that you go for the pull will often 10x your results, right? If you're not doing that on a regular basis, when you go out and approach girls, 
Well, you're not going to pull. Very few girls are going to pull you. Very few girls are going to lead you. So if you're doing that consistently, you're going to get significantly more success. And then the third most important thing is having real sexual desire. It's not being someone who is just logically thinking, oh, she's attractive. I should talk to her. I should hook up with her. I should do this. It's too logical. It's like you're trying to slay a dragon. It's like you're doing a chore, right? I, I want to get to the sex. So I have to go through this process that I don't want to go through. That's not the right mindset. The best mindset when you're going out to meet women, actually let yourself feel turned on. Actually think about how beautiful that girl that you want to approach is. If you want to take this further, you could literally imagine her naked. You could imagine hooking up with her. You could imagine all kinds of things, right? I don't, I don't need to go into details, but imagine things that get you into a sexual state. Now you don't need to tell her anything sexual. Oftentimes it's better not to say anything sexual, but you want to have that energy. You want to be feeling that emotion yourself and projecting that through your eye contact. You can literally think while you're looking at a girl in the eyes, I want you. You can think those kinds of things. Imagine the scenarios that you want to play out. Imagine them playing out. Imagine anything that makes you feel turned on. And once you have that emotion, you will see that women respond to you in ways you previously thought were impossible. I've had girls invite me to go home with them within a few minutes multiple times because they just felt my strong intent. That doesn't mean you shouldn't take the lead, but when you get this right, when you're really feeling sexual desire in your interactions, they're going to be totally different. The way women react to you will be less logical and a lot more instinctual, right? They're just going to feel turned on because emotions transfer from person to person. I hope you enjoyed that video. That was three of the most important concepts that you can put into action right now that will drastically improve your success with women. If you enjoyed that video, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button. I also am posting a lot of real life hidden camera videos of myself approaching women. I'm actually one of the few guys who shows this stuff in action. So make sure to subscribe to my channel to get real advice from someone who's actually out in the real world practicing what he preaches. If you found this video useful in any way and you want to work with me on a much deeper level, the best way to do that is in-person coaching. Online content is great. You can get epiphanies, you can get useful advice, and it can help move you in the right direction, but nothing is more powerful than in-person coaching because you have so much leverage, so much skin in the game to take massive action that over the course of a three-day boot camp, you will experience a legitimate transformation. Your results before the boot camp and after the boot camp will be drastically different, drastically better. So if you want to learn more about my in-person coaching, click the link below to sign up for a free 15-minute call and to see if you're a good fit for the program.